and we'll move on to to Chelsea taking at their point of view from Forest. So after the point deduction for Forest and now Everton as well, do you think Chelsea are in trouble, Keith? Are they are they now set to sell their huge stars with PSR and FFP breaches potentially in store? Well, the one thing that these points deductions have done with Everton and Forest is they've spooked the other clubs because they've seen the Premier League have actually, whether they've done it correctly or incorrectly, they've done it. And so you're, you know, you're, you're now worried about the lunatic loose with a gun, if you like, and that's the Premier League. So Chelsea will be worried. I think it's going to be difficult because if they're going to, um, if they're going to breach or if they're going to avoid a breach, they're going to have to sell some of the younger talent. And I think I mentioned last week that we that we were looking at uh, Chelsea were looking at trying to sell some of that talent down to Saudi. Now, I think it might be very hard for a lot of the young players to consider going to Saudi. And so the older players would normally be the ones like the Lukaku's, etc., who's Chelsea still own, um, would probably be the ones going to Saudi. But of course, that doesn't give Chelsea the relief in terms of the the value that that's in those players uh, that they would with some of the younger ones from the homegrown players like the Gallagher's, etc. So. It's difficult for Chelsea to see how that's going to happen. I think this time next year, we're going to be sitting here discussing the Chelsea breach. Wow. So if they are to breach it, Keith, are we expecting, given it looks like the Premier League hand out points deductions rather than fines and suspended sentences, will it be a points deduction, would you anticipate? I don't think the Premier League have left them with any themselves with anywhere else to go but a serious points deduction. I think this could be the biggest you know, breach so far. Unless there's some very clever engineering done quickly in June. But, you know, it's going to be very hard to see it. But listen, don't underestimate Todd Bowley and his ability and his connections with Saudi. And the uh, and don't forget, you know, there is some Saudi money already into the uh, the private equity group that, uh, that have helped funded Bowley. So there's a lot of connections there to try and pull something out of the fire. But it's going to be tight. And I really don't see a way out of this one for them. So I think this time next year we'll be talking about... Uh, about Chelsea fans being unhappy. And uh, the other thing as well is there'll be now probably the Everton, whether there's an appeal or a Forest appeal as well. So there'll now be a lot more documents setting up precedents uh, for the, how these things are going to be handled. And it won't be pleasant reading for Chelsea if, if, they, uh, if they get themselves in that trouble. On the flip side, Keith, if they're, if they're not able to, if they're going to have to sell players because they're worried about PSR, what does it mean from a signings point of view? Would that mean because they're sort of teetering on that, if they are really concerned that they're going to go over and breach breach the, 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 current, um, the current rules, does that therefore mean that, you know, they've been looking at a striker going into the summer? Would they not be able to sign any players really? Unless they're successful in getting those out, then I don't think there'll be any coming in. And uh, it's going to be a problem for Chelsea, certainly. They've also got those players on very long-term contracts, as we know. And uh, it's it's a tricky situation they've got themselves in. I don't think they foresaw the fact that PSR would be uh, being imposed as strongly as it has been. I'm pretty sure that was not in the, uh, the risk register when they bought the club. Uh, and so now they're finding a whole new reality. And their you know, initial spending spree has meant that um, they've now got themselves in a pretty tight corner. How many players are likely to be sold, Keith? I know Conor Gallagher has been mentioned, sort of valued at about 50 to 60 million. A couple of those stars that are on loan are about 30 million pounds. And of course, the, 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 the target's going to be 100 million, really. Would they try and exceed that to therefore like jump way below the, the threshold? What would they try and aim for, do you think? Well, I think if they go and bring any, any players in, as we said, they're going to have to go above the 100 million mark. So it's going to be a lot to, uh, to move on. But with the young players where the value is, I say it's going to be very hard to do it domestically or within Europe. And so it's it's going to be a, a, a difficult one for them. Saudi is going to be a very tough option for young players to go to. And um, that, I think, is still their big hope of how they can get out of jail. So does that therefore mean that they'd be going into the next season with a points deduction? Would it happen, say, mid-season? Given how long all these processes and cases have taken, would you think going into the new season in August that we would see Chelsea on minus six or minus eight or minus four, you know, whichever they decide to pick? Or actually, would that happen, say, mid-season as it has happened now? I think it would be mid-season. I think that the Premier League have now seen the problems they've created. will want to expedite things as quickly you know, as they can do. And so I think you're going to see something happening, hopefully, before, well, not, maybe not for Chelsea, hopefully, but something around Christmas time would be uh, where I think we try and get those sort of things resolved, because it would be pretty clear by uh, the you know by the end of June as to where things are and the numbers should be filed, and uh, you know they're going to have to face the music. 
In the same way with Maranakis, as we discussed with Forrest, could Bowley potentially pull the plug on Chelsea and say, I don't want to be involved in this? Or actually, do you think he would try and stand up and fight the case if it is to happen? No, I think he would stand up and fight. I think they've got uh, so much invested now, both personally as well as financially. I think the partners he's got would want to stay and try and salvage whatever they could because they can't uh, they can't take that hit both professionally and financially. I think they're going to have to stay and fight for that one. And Chelsea is a trophy asset in many ways as a London club. And so they've just got to try and get it back on track, realise the error of their ways, take their medicine and move forward.